I recently wrote a tutorial and then recorded a video showing you how to boot the Galaxy S7 into safe mode. Now I have the Verizon Galaxy S7 and while that method worked for me I've learned that it's not working for all versions of the S7. Specifically I've been told the AT&T and Sprint versions of the Galaxy S7 cannot boot into safe mode the way that I was doing it with the Verizon. I believe T-Mobile works just like the Verizon one but for some reason AT&T and Sprint have removed this feature from their OS. So if you have the AT&T or Sprint Galaxy S7 and you need to get into safe mode to do some troubleshooting testing what you need to do is power off the device. Once the device is off we're going to start to turn it back on and then once you get to the second splash screen it will be the animated Samsung splash screen we're going to press and hold the volume down button. You then want to continue holding the volume down button throughout the whole boot process and then it will take you into Android and safe mode. So as you can see we're going to start powering the device on. We're going to wait till that second splash screen. We're going to wait, wait, wait and now we're going to press and hold the volume down button. Now you're going to go through your carrier splash screens continuing to hold the volume down button. Then once you get up into Android as you can see at the bottom left we have the safe mode watermark. This will be present all the time that you're in safe mode as a reminder that this is why your third-party applications are disabled. We also have a notification telling us safe mode is on and as you can see here the Google Docs application is gray while the drive application is still in color. This is because the drive application was preloaded pre onto the Gal Verizon Galaxy S7 while the Docs application was installed from the Google Play Store. This means you cannot launch applications that you've had to manually install from the Play Store or from Samsung's Galaxy Apps Store. To get out of safe mode we can either tap on this notification and then your device will reboot or you can just restart manually. You can power down and then power back up or you can just tap the restart button. All of these methods will result in the same thing. Your device will just reboot, go through the same options, and then you'll be back in the regular Android boot mode where safe mode is not enabled. Let's see now, I can select Nova Launcher as it is a third party application and third party apps are not disabled anymore. See, safe mode is not enabled. 